Hello and welcome to a new week of iRacing. We are here in the ARCA car, getting ready to do some qualifying here at Legacy Phoenix. Bit of a tricky combo this is. I got into practice and I was like, did I forget how to drive this combo? <laughs> because I've done this combo a couple of times in the past, but man, it felt uncomfortable. I wasn't quite feeling all the way up to speed. It's tricky out here, so... We're going to do the best we can, but it's a it's a, a bit of a handful, so we'll see what happens. Green flag, green flag. Said good luck to a bunch of drivers we know out here. Joe up there saying good luck. I just went ahead and sent out a million good luck messages. <laughs> I usually... I'm like, eh, do I really want to send 30 good luck messages, even though I do wish everybody good luck? This time I was like, yeah, you know what? Everybody needs some luck this race, so I sent, I sent a bunch of them out. So good luck to everybody. That was maybe not my best attempt at a lap, but like I said, I'm not really feeling all that great out here. We'll see if we can do any better than that. I'm not really uh, feeling like we should be able to, though, because I'm not feeling all that fast. I'll just be real. That was a good final corner, though. Still not a, still not good enough to improve on the first lap, though. Yeah, it, it's just tough. It feels like turn one goes on forever. I don't know if I'm used to the other track, where maybe it's got some more grip. It helps you get through the corner a little bit better. I'm not sure, but it just feels like uh, really hard to get this car around these corners, and then it gets real loose on the exits, too, so you really got to be careful. Andrew's well in here. We'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the full roster of drivers for this race. It is a 4.1k strength of field, so pretty strong field. First race of the week here on Monday as the week switches over, so not too surprising. We got lots of strong competitors out here ready to race. Get the camera ready for later. And your entry list. Here it is. We have a number three. And uh, let's see through here. Got guys like Andrew, who's in the league. Um, Austin, who's uh, Armed for Gaming on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. Gavin Ropchan, also a YouTuber. Uh, Jeremy, also a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah, we were, I just uh, realized we, we kind of got a trend going on. I think Joe uploads as well. Chad, there's probably there's probably other guys that upload. Um, so really, uh, really strong field. Yeah, number 19 is not in here. And so we'll have to wait for him. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Austin said it in a quicker way. <laughs> so we'll have to wait the full minute, 12 seconds left, I'm guessing. Right now, P8, the two's got crazy pace. He's up there in the twos, which is faster than I've seen anybody run so far. And he was the fastest in the open practice as well. Larry Pace in P2, he just started a YouTube channel as well. I remember he uh, showed how he ran ARCA at Michigan last week, and I ran a couple races on my own time trying to uh, learn something from it and kind of experiment with how he was able to do that. Much easier said than done, though. He was kind of like doing a brake drag thing and using both pedals, which is something I normally don't do, where I kind of like drag the brake a little bit while being on the throttle. But uh, that's how he was able to really work well at that combo. I was I was practicing it. Don't feel like I perfectly got it down, but well, I'm never going to get it if I don't try it, so <laughs> ran a couple of races. Andrew's up there in third. I know the uh, fi uh, the fifth place car here, the number nine, he just won a race at Kern County, I think it was. That's the First end. time slot of the Eight. week. So he's fast. Very strong field. Very, very strong field, and uh, we're going to look to try to be clean. Looks like we got plenty of clean drivers around us. 
So hopefully all will be well, but there could definitely be some self-spins early on. With uh, how tricky this can be, so. Good luck, everybody. Is that fun? All right. Gridding up. P8. Let's hope to survive. And hope to get ourselves a nice finish. I think top 10 would be fine. I'd be happy with that. That is inflated. It is, again, 4.1k strength of field. It's a high strength field, but not quite that high. I'm going to put my brake bias just a tiny bit back. Not going to go the full three, but maybe a couple back. Because it can get loose on entry if uh, you drive in hard. We need to follow car number 13 in the outside column. Absolutely. People praising old, old Phoenix, Phoenix over new Phoenix. Yeah, surprisingly the race is better. Don't I don't necessarily disagree. Park There's some nice things about new Phoenix. It looks much nicer. But, uh... Yeah, I wonder why that would be. <laughs> it's all about the racing. Especially so. on I racing. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a good uh, view of the leader, the number two. If you look to your left now, you'll see a beautiful patch of green grass. Yeah. How about that? And it hurt. We're in a time before uh, grass went extinct here at Phoenix. At least it's on a sausage curve. Now that could be, be some big wrecks there if they're doing a sausage curve right there. Get ready. Going green. Starting behind the Halloween Reese's hey, car. Hey, we're in the playoff They might as well use run track to jump the last. I think I raised 10 recently. That seems familiar. Watch for the car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. On the inside, got a horrible start. Now, this is where it gets really testy around uh, turn one on the cold tires, so. Wow, that was not as clear as I thought it was going to be. We got the clear call. Still nearly found him. Alright, all is well. We're single file right now. We are P7. Not sure what happened to the inside lane on that start, but we definitely uh, were able to get out in front of them really quick. They just kind of missed the jump. Probably couldn't see the leader is probably what the problem was. I really don't know how I'm going to save tires other than just not overdriving it if I can avoid it, so that's what we'll try to do. Guy had fallen back a little bit from the 9. A little loose. Far so good though. We got a nice gap behind the eight. That's good to know. Behind us. Thirteen going real slow through the final corner. Wow. And loose we are. And make sure not to hit that wall on the outside of one. Really easy to do if you're not careful. I'm going to run a little higher, see if I can get a run. It didn't really do anything, though. That was a 28.8. Really tricky place, Phoenix is. Every corner is a little bit different.
All right, Colton, let's go. Not too much grip out here. On old Phoenix, especially. So you really gotta be careful with how you're gassing it up and that you're slowing it down properly. some smoke is that Larry up there maybe maybe not really not getting it to turn right now that was not a good corner could not get it to turn overdrove it a, a bit I guess Single file right now, I, I can, uh, I bet you that tire wear is going to matter, though, in a bit. I don't think I'm doing a good job of tire wear, by the way. <laughs> so that might not be good for us, but. I'm doing my best here. We'll see what we can get. Not a good corner. I got too low, got near the apron. It's getting tighter, it feels like. Larry way out front. Oh, that's not Larry. I've been calling him Larry the whole time. That's Jacob. Give him credit. So used to Larry being the one pulling away. But now nah, Jacob's got this place dialed in this week so far. Also, Larry, I think in the past, used to have the plain white car. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but... Got a couple good corners in a row there. Tried to get a run on him, possibly. Not happening, though. Don't hit the wall. Kind of slid a little closer to the wall there. That got a little scary for a moment. So, so far, everybody pretty mistake-free in front of us. Everyone hitting their marks pretty well, it looks like. It's hard to make much progress. Make sure I'm not overdriving, but I think I might be anyway. You can see a little bit of separation between a couple of guys now. No, you're good, but I don't know if I came down and you came up, but I'm sorry if I did anything. Some contact back bad. there somewhere, it sounds like. We got a second behind us this now. That's really nice. Time was We're kind of falling off the 13 now.
Heck, we might just be where we're going to finish. I don't know. We still got a long way to go, though. We're just now over halfway. I can't believe how fast that 2 is, just breaking away from the whole pack. It's impressive. I wonder if he's going to fall off later, if he's just got this perfect and he's out there saving tires at the same time. be very interesting to know what his All right, Colton. You're inputs home. are, what he's doing over the there. That's impressive. I'm really curious what our tires are going to look like, too. Because while we're getting tight, getting a pretty decent amount of rotation out of the exit sometimes, too. Interesting to see what uh, the numbers say. Almost two seconds behind us now. That's, that's pretty cool. We're in this front group, at least. Not counting the leader who's in his own group, but... We can still see uh, up to P2 pretty well. Alright, that's 15 to go. That lap was at 29.4. Had a pretty decent run through there that time. Trying a big late turn in, see how that works out for us. Not quite as good as the last lap there, though. You've just done a twenty nine point four. Head goes a little bit wide, but we go a little shallow. That hurts my run off. It really does not want to turn when you're going through the final corner there. It gets real tight in the center. It takes a lot of convincing to get the car to rotate for you. That lap time was 29.5. That was a much better uh, first turn. No one falling off real bad in front of us or anything, I don't think. Maybe Andrew? It looks like he's gotten a little okay, closer to us, but... He's not plummeting by any means. I wonder if we'll have any contact. They're pretty close to one another up there, uh, battling for second. Hopefully not, but you can definitely see some moves being attempted as we get closer to the end of this thing. Kind of just had a bit of a push and a pull right on the back of the 13 here. Gain a tiny bit and then he'll gain... Or, you know, he'll uh, pull away a little bit. Not too much passing going on I, uh, that I've seen. 
we got one spot early, and that was just because the guy didn't get a very good jump. I haven't seen too many other guys passing, really, either. So it's going to be real tough to pass this week, I'm guessing. I did try shifting in practice. Didn't seem to be a good idea to me. I know some combos in the past at Phoenix can kind of do the uh, shift, but I didn't think it was so much a thing this week here in the Arca car. Didn't feel all too useful. Well, we're coming to five to go. We haven't really been able to do anything all race, but we've gained quite a lot on the guys behind us. So at least there's that. Three seconds behind us. That could just be because those guys have battled all race, too, for that position or something. Tried a really late turn in there just to see what would happen. It wasn't awful, but not great either. The team pulling away again. Bit of a train here today. That's unfortunate. Seems like so long as you kind of hit your marks, like I think this whole front group has been doing, it'd be really tough to even get along somebody, alongside somebody. That's good consistency. Keep it up. <laughs> I really pushed it there, drifted through turn one. Probably not what I want to be doing, but... Just trying to do anything I can to see if I can get anything at all. You've got two laps to go. Oh, they uh, might have seen them side by side up there for a second. Not right now, though. That lap was at 29.7. Well, shoot, not much happening this race. We're coming to the white flag. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. White flag, one more lap. Oh, someone in the wall up there. I don't think that's going to be enough for us to get to him, though. That was probably the most exciting thing that happened all race. Other than the initial start, I guess. Well, we'll, pin it, we'll finish P7. That's perfectly solid. It's the top 10 I wanted. There we go. It's over. Bring it before right. yeah, the black. Black. Let's go. Good job. Very good job. The two has dominated. That was fun as hell, but shit. There was just uh, nothing for us to do. No passing. I don't know. Maybe we were just uh, in the perfect spot right from the start. <laughs> we were right at our speed, and maybe that's why there was no passing, because we weren't even really near anybody too much. Following the 13, that's about it. Oh, man, no way. Joe's got the worst luck, man. His wheel disconnected. 
it sounds like. Uh, well, let's uh, let's compare our tires. So we had better tires than this guy. Um, pretty much identical tires to the P4 finisher. Just he was on his right rear more, so probably pushing a little bit more um, out of the final corner, getting it loose. Probably doing a pretty good job of that. Then, at least we were better on the right front there. Let's look at uh, some other guys that finished up front. This guy is the guy that finished ahead of us, 85-89. So his tires were just better all around. Same with uh, Andrew. He just had better tires overall. Hmm... Oh man, the 6. Not happy with his performance. He had pretty good tires though, 84-86. I mean, he did better on his right front. Huh. The leader, 83-84. So, better on the right front, better on the right rear. I don't know what to make of that. I guess tires don't matter too much so long as you don't kill them. It's just about being fast. I, I don't know. Larry was on his right rear. That helps him get second place. I guess I'm okay with my tie reading. I think what I learned from that is I probably could have pushed more um, on the exits. Gotten the car a little looser and carried some more speed, probably. Maybe could have saved the right front just a little bit better. But uh, I feel like we did a pretty solid job. That's just a really tough combo. So very happy to get the top 10. And uh, we'll look at the incidents now. We'll probably see uh, Joe's wheel disconnecting, unfortunately. Among some other things. So lap 3, the 6 is going to get the wall. That's what I was saying. That wall really uh, can sneak up on you. Is this Joe's wheel disconnecting? Out of two. Is that two? That might be two. I never know what the turns are here anymore because they keep switching it up. Yeah, that looks like probably a wheel disconnect. Like something's wrong there. That doesn't look quite right. That really stinks. Seven into the wall. Got some side-by-side -side here. Whoa! The 16 comes up. Taps the 18, but able to uh, avoid catastrophe for either of them. Ooh, the 12 gets into the back of the 8, it looks like. Going into the final corner. This is lap 19. Yeah, it just taps that right rear. Uh, he'll go right around him, as if that's what he wanted to do. 18's going to get a twofer. 11's going to try for it, take it three wide, but the 8 just backs out and says, all right, already, I just want to survive. And it looks like he does, at least for now. Let's see what else happens, because it looks like the 18's about to clobber the wall. Ah, oh, that was a baby tap, that was nothing. Oh, we got something, <laughs> something happening behind him, though. Got some intense racing back here. You know, 16 just turns out down on the 7. Like he's not there. Got blinking. And uh, that was the end of the race, so pretty darn clean race overall. How many incidents did we even have? Three 1Xs. And that's just people ending up in the grass. That's a pretty darn clean race. That's impressive, because... This is a tough combo. I thought there were going to be some self-spins and things, and we really didn't see that. The only spin we had was Joe, and he had uh, wheel connection issues. So, Very well done by everybody there. Probably why we didn't really get to pass much, because everybody's hitting their marks, not making mistakes. So we'll look at the race results page just before we head out and call this a successful run. 41.67 strength of field is the official total. 
We'll get 14 I rating and get over the 5,800 I rating mark for the first time. We are uh, still maxed out on the safety rating. 182 championship points. That is a nice haul. I'll definitely take that. Happy with that. And you'll see uh, the number two car just absolutely blazing fast. It looks like tires probably not going to be too big of a deal here. Uh, if you're pushing hard, you're probably getting on the right rear. And so uh, you can probably uh, go pretty fast as long as you're not overdriving the entries. And uh, have some uh, success. And uh, I'll call that a success for me too. P7. Definitely uh, happy with that. So I think that's going to do it for this one as you see the rest of the results. Thank you for watching some ARCA at Legacy Phoenix. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.